part of Walton Quarry, Rony Wap, half a mile from John's house at Mendips. And this really was at the heart of Walton. Um, one of the reasons Pete Shotton said they were called the Quarry Men was not just because they were at Quarry Bank School, but the fact this quarry dominated Walton Village. And in the 1950s, this was still an active quarry. It was still a working quarry, and I've got a possibly crackpot <laughs> geological theory of the Beatles, and this is, this is kind of really exciting um, to see all of this sandstone. I think geology was like really important for this group in a, in, a, in a strange way, and in lots of ways, actually. Yeah. The Quarrymen, the first band, uh, the first name, the school, Quarry Bank, hanging out in the quarry here, which as you say, was a, a working quarry. They could hear blasts and they could hear the horn and stuff um, during the day. Walton is a quarry village in the 40s and 50s. Yep. And then seeing all of this, and I don't know, it's just really exciting when you put something as old and slow as geology, as sandstone, uh, next to something as kind of here today, gone tomorrow, and ephemeral, as yep. pop and pop culture. Um, and they became famous in a club called The Cavern. You know, there's just some, and John's interested in going into the ground, going down a rabbit hole at Strawberry Fields. I don't know, there's just something geological and subterranean about this band, I think. And yeah. I love seeing all of this yeah. sandstone. Actually, they should have been called the Beach Boys, shouldn't they, really? <laughs> and of course, what they played was rock and roll, so maybe that featured in it anyway. Right, right. Now, of course, in the middle of the quarry was a footpath. And that sort of linked John's side of Walton with St Peter's Church and his friends who lived on the other side of Walton as well. So this was the path they walked through all the time. So you're quarrying either side. And this was the shortcut that John and his friends would take. And they would take him to St Peter's Church. And of course, the day John met Paul, the quarry men were playing right on top of the quarry. It's another Edgeland as well. Um... It's a path and it's out of the way, it's betwixt and between two places. Yeah. And it's a hidden space, good place to smoke, yeah. good place to hang out if you were a teenager, a little bit overgrown now, we haven't seen anybody using no. this path. It just strikes me, you know, David, walking along here as well, when you're looking at the recent pop cultural past, it feels like, I don't know, it feels like you're an urban naturalist and you're on the trail of, 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 of foxes, the scent trails around the backs of houses or something. It feels like we're mapping something um, that moves around the kind of gaps between the houses. Yeah, and it's almost, I suppose, we are sort of walking in the footsteps of Lennon, aren't we? Mm -hmm. 